Well, while you're talking about things like that, I'm getting thirsty. Blake, Blake, you are the mystery host. This is your mystery beer. Okay. I'm going to pour it. Yeah. Is there anything I need to watch out for so I don't get spoiled by the top rim of the can? Okay. So this one is the Mystere. Yeah. That's going to be way Mister. off the one we've been Mystere, I'm drunk. drunk. Fuck you. Mister. Ron can never pronounce the mysterious Beerius. Yeah, the mystery mystery. Ah! He, he did call it the mystery mystery that first time around. We're like, dude, what the hell? Ooh. Oh, this is pretty pink. Oh, sweet. We got something that's way different. And it has some fizz to it, actually. Too. I like it. We get, we're getting head. Blake is giving us head. Good job, Blake. Yes. Thank you. Good Thank you, Blake. Guess. Good guests always give great head their first that's time. True. That's all how right. you get invited back. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> like, it's like, all right. So I'm going to call it uh, like a raspberry, strawberry something. Okay. So it looks like a, like a pink lemonade type. I don't know. There's a, or a I watermelon. Like, I feel the raspberry is on point. But I, I yeah, drank one of those fucking good. watermelons again the other night. And those are good. They, the they first were really night that I drew, like the first time I drank one, I was like, there. this isn't that great. I didn't okay. do too bad for you, even, right? Good job, Ron. Proud of you. Here's your own Dude. mystery, sir. Thank this you. looks fruity. Now, have you ever tried this one? Did you yes. See? Okay. So you know that you like it. It smells good. So... If I had a little more heads side. up, I would have got stuff I haven't had, but I just... No, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. You, you bring bring what you like. Okay. No judgment here. Okay. Very sour. This is like a nice change from what we've been Ooh. drinking. Right. Sure. Yeah, the first... I like how tart it is. It's very tart. It's got a... It's a so good. I'm kind of wondering, is it a... Is it a sour? Sour or is it a yeah, tart? Yeah, it's a sour. There you go. So for those wa- listening at home, we have our first three beers are all kind of bourbon barrel, dark looking, nondescript. We probably should have done this one first because it's like sour and I'm wondering if it tastes more sour because of all the sweetness. This one but is like uh, like just a delicate kind of pinky reddy color. See an accurate description? I really like the color of it. I do. It's, Yeah. We've got very much a sour flavor. The color of it makes it really fun. It's super opaque. It's like you see. can't see any light through it at all. It's got a little bit of sediment in it. Here, this is your can. You hold it. It looks like oh, yeah. a, I don't know. I was going to offer him, but you were hoarding it for me. So Hoarding it? Hoarding it? Yeah. yeah. Hoarding it. I like it. No, there's there's something about the way that it looks. I, I'm, it doesn't really like fruit punch. Mm, I don't even think that there's something about it. They did make a fruit punch, fruit punch beer for a while. Somebody was. Is it fruit punch? No, it's not fruit punch. There's something about it. I can't tell. Hmm. Did you guys ever have the extreme sours? Extreme sours. Is this like um? One of, it's like a warheads type deal. Yeah. Did you ever guys ever had those? No, it's the it's the, it's not but hit, but have you ever had any of those? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that I have. Unless I'm in it. They, they were okay. They were okay. I mean. Oh, like the like extreme sour beers. Yes. Yeah, no, I have not. Oh. Mm-hmm. You, you can definitely taste artificial in them. Right. I see. I'm kind of like I'm on a thing with sours. I used to really like sours when I first started drinking them. And then after a while, I think we had so many on here that were just awful. Like, I, I remember... I still remember one of the very first butt plug episodes. We had one that I just described the flavor as acid reflux. Yeah, I, I remember that particular beer because I all said pretty much the same thing. But this this is actually really good. This is uh, kind of redeems the acid... Or the acid. This re- redeems the sour world for me because it's, it's really the, good. The urban artifact that we did not too long ago, the plum one. Um, what one was that? Plum, one. plum vanilla or something like that. I don't remember. It reminds me of that a little bit. The one that we had with the carrot cake. Mm. The only thing I can say about this is maybe like a little bit of a melon. And I can't even say like necessarily watermelon. I think there's probably multiple... I don't know. I give up. Um, I can smell some kind of fruit on it, and I can't pick. Maybe there's some kind of lemon in it. My brain is not letting me pick it out. Right. Um, there's multiple, like a strawberry lemonade. Or... Hmm. I don't know. I, this, I, I, it's I, was, what... I was thinking like a pink lemonade, maybe, but there's just something about it. I give up. Yeah. I do too. 
What do we got? Okay, this is called 83 Beer. It's out of Akron, Ohio. Uh, it's a fruit sour ale with real raspberry, blackberry puree during fermentation. A touch of sea salt is added to the balance of the tartness for a refreshing but very forward sour. I can get the. I, the, I taste I the raspberry now that you say raspberry. See, I, I tasted was, the salt, but I thought I was just. It's called berry to death. I like it. I really I like it. Too. I, I, it's funny because I was thinking salt, and I'm like, that sounds really dumb. Dude, I don't know. know. I was just like basically told myself not to say that. What is it like? Every time we've had a beer that is like salty, I've liked it a lot. You like salty? I like. <laughs> I like salty beverages. She, <laughs> she like she Ariana. Salty I will not go further. Ariana sorry. likes salty liquids in her mouth. There you go. Huh. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing later? She <laughs> lets some salty liquids in her mouth. I eat some pineapple first, but... <laughs> okay. You don't have to. She likes that off flavor, apparently. <laughs> that umami salty flavor so in her mouth. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm on board. You guys have totally brought me out of my shell. There so. you go. Well, she lets us good times. I like it. I noticed that throughout the... You know, you just kind of had a, like, yeah, what the fuck, you know? Sometimes you're kind of like, yeah, fuck it, roll with it, you know? Yeah, you do. Because if you go into any of these things and be like, oh, man, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, no. Yeah, what if my just, mommy sees me? You're like, you know what? If my mom sees me and has questions, my mom already knows me. Do your mo- she's, she handles him well. She's really good. Like, he can be just the most foul and vulgar individual in front of him. And I know most people are taught not to do that in front of their mom. Like, my kids are not... Like, they've basically been instructed not to cuss in front of me. And, like, so I don't even know if my kids cuss, but if they do, they definitely don't do it in front of me. But it's, it's like, you know, Ron just breaks that complete unspoken rule, like, fuck him. I'm, and his mom is the one that listens to him, and she's like, oh, well, well, well. You know, the she's funny part, cool you know, the funny part, the only time I ever get dinged on any of that stuff, if my nephew is around, I have to be all polite. I, can I will get that. yelled about that because they don't want him, like, taking after so the they, they don't want your nephew to be like you. Which so he doesn't listen understand. to your podcast? He's 10. Oh. Yeah, that, I, I feel like when he's older, maybe like when he's like in his teens, like, like yeah, driving like, age, he'll like totally rebel and he'll become like Ron. <laughs> I, I almost think his dad would hate him. Like his dad would be so pissed. Like, it, it, the only thing I'll say is my daughter knows what I do and knows what these things are. And she's like, my dad is just fucking stupid and <laughs> embarrassing and to hell with that guy. No, um... It was actually a fun brewery to go to. It's a. It was in the old Goodyear plant up in Akron. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. There were. It was a small section, but if you went to this back corridor, there was like these volleyball or soccer courts where kids were playing, and all the adults were in the brewery. Oh, that's really cool. I yeah. see. You know, they need to have more sports things like that because my older son was into football, and I, you know, I love seeing him play, but at the same time, like their team this year and the past couple years super sucked and i like i he just this past year especially he did not put himself into it because he it, like it was almost like i know we suck i know the coaches suck so he wasn't giving it his all and so i hated going to those games had there been a brewery there i'd been like yes i'm fucking going you know and so that's, that's actually a pretty cool idea i like it so, um, I don't know. It, I mean, the, the, the anything fun- else you want to say about this brewery or beer? Or? I mean, the, the, want to describe the can for us? Uh, you definitely get see all the berries on it, different colors of berries. Um, I like the colors on it, too. So, what are the colors for those listening? I, they remind me of the early 90s or 80s. So, or like, you know, like those cups you used to get at Georgia's that had the, like, the oh, little like square. The, the, it was... That um, very iconic. Um, it was green turquoise and uh, styrofoam cup. Yes, it's got like the basically the turquoise around it, and it has that like up and down swirl. So yeah, it's like the can is mostly white, and so, it's got like a fuchsia color on there, and it's got that turquoise on it. So for me, like the thing that keeps getting me about it is. The font they chose for the name, The Buried to Death. I like it. It kind of reminds me, I don't know, this will be kind of anime nerdish, but uh, there's an anime out there called Death Note. And it kind of reminds me of the that font. That's a, mir- a movie, too. I was going to say. But the, the, the lettering reminds me of the font from Death Note. That's really funny because the movie that I watched that was Death Note, I was going to say the same thing about it. So yeah. that's they used that same font. Yeah, and, and you know, Death Note was basically, hey, look, some uh, jerk ass high school kids get a notebook and you can write down, you know, hey, I fucking hate Blake. I hope he dies in a by getting ass raped by a oh, chihuahua. Jesus. 
Wow. Oh, that's not too bad. And, and then, you yeah, know, I mean, I mean, it could be a lot worse. And then the next, right. and then the next, and, and then the next day we find out Brit, yeah, yeah. Blake got ass raped to death by a herd of chihuahuas. Right. Yeah. Or, or some like, bi- like yeah. or some like giant dude who had chihuahua tattooed on his like, you know, Ooh. nipple or something. There you go. The, uh, some scary thing. Scary chihuahua. thing. They might feel good too. So you never know. There you go. Right but that, nonetheless, that's what it reminds me of. I so, really like it. Beer reminds me of a drink I used to make. I have raspberries out in my garden, so I would get raspberries and I would muddle them, and then I would pour vodka in it, and then I would like put lime juice in it, and I just put a little bit of sugar in it. No, I could see it. Okay. Like I called it a raspberry limey, basically, and it was really good. And that's exactly, almost exactly what this beer tastes like. Because it has the booze taste, and you do get that raspberry flavor. I was thrown off by the salt, so that's why I was. Um, the salt was uh, definitely an unexpected one because they don't just. I thought it was a good. They I just don't it. throw salt into shit. Usually. I uh, so Not like that no. Because it's a sour, I was getting like a lemon type flavor for it, and maybe that's like the salt kind of. I think the salt definitely amplified the the sour notes for it. Right. We did that, um, and you didn't like it, but that margarita, that smoked margarita. Uh, okay. Balls, okay. That was really good. It, I tasted that. Oh, man. I love that so much. And I wish I could find it around here. Sonia's, right? Yeah. There mm. you go. That was a good one. Uh, so, what would we rate that one, guys? I think a four. Mm. Four. I, you know, it's really good. Um, like I said, I'm kind of straight away from sours, and I don't really care for them these days, but. Um, I mean, if I was going to go based on the fact that this is a sour, how would I rate this as a sour? It would definitely be like a four or higher, but overall average as a beer, because I'm not that big of a sour fan, I'll just give it a straight like three and a half. Like it's a little bit better than like a mid range, but at the same time, it's like, it wouldn't be my first go-to choice. Um, I would drink it again. I could drink a full can of it, but I just, I would definitely, I would have to like, Put it down after one can. I couldn't go to another beer even similar to that because I'm just I'm not into the sour flavor like I used to be. I think it would be a good summertime beer. Oh yeah, definitely. Like like if you had a cook like we used to have cookouts and we would have cookouts to start it early and we'd have the cookout and it would be cool and sunny out and then it would go late into the evening and bonfire wise and I I could see myself drinking those as I was like running the grill I would definitely do that I would have get the burger man I think it would be delicious with the burger it would actually go so good with the burger because I would be the one that was like like making like the grill food so I would do my thing like I just I, I, I would I I had very good concoctions back then we would have like bonfires and stuff but I could see myself being the first one to pull a burger off the grill and I would be like chowing down on it as I was making everything else and I would have it with that. And then I think I would, you know, I'd have to wash it down with the water after that. But you know, to, I, I, I may go back to another one of those or something else, but I, it would be really good with a burger. So a for me on that one, I'm going to go 3-5 also. Not my favorite. Don't hate it. Um, it makes me want to find their other like offerings because that salt in there threw me off. I like it. And I would like to see what else they've done and what else they can do. Does that make sense? I, I for for a so when I throw things together, I throw I like the sweet and savory, and so that's what I do when I cook. And I put in certain like I, people I would cook for them, and they'd be like, I don't know about that. That sounds like that'd be hideous. And I'd be like, shut up and eat it. And they would eat it and they would love it. And I feel like that's that kind like that's the the way that I see foods. And if they were to do. A lot of beers like that where they throw things together where you're kind of like giving it the side eye, but yet you try it and it like it blows you away because it doesn't even sound like it would be good. I think um, that would be, I, I would like to try more of their stuff because of that because they are brave enough to put things together that you really wouldn't think like who, like people salt their watermelons, they might salt an apple or they might salt some other fruits, but nobody salts a raspberry. Yeah. You, that- Spaghetti sauce I made mm-hmm. has Worcester sister sauce in it. You wouldn't think Washer, so. what was that? Washer, 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 Washer sister sauce. Washer sister sauce. Washer sister sauce. Yes. Wa- you gotta put that R. Washer sister sauce. You gotta put that hillbilly R that does not go in the W A R S H. Washer. Washer sister sister sauce. Washer sister sauce. I done had some of that Washer sister sauce. It was made when I was a washerwoman. Washer sister sauce. 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 Washer sister s
I, yeah. I would, Do you want to wash your sister? Come on, Blake. You want to wash your sister's house? You want to wash your sister's <laughs> sauce? It's a wash, you son of a bitch. <laughs> There you go. So, have, from the Midwest, we say wash. Even I don't say wash, but I know a lot of people actually say washcloth. Washcloth. Yes. Hey, people listening at home, is it washcloth or washcloth? It's definitely washcloth, but I don't know. Washcloth. I, 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 wash I, I think when I was little, I used to say washcloth, and then I realized that's not how it's spelled, so I'm not going to say Because I, I, my grandma and my dad definitely said that, and I was like, nope, nope, nope. Some people say like toilet, toilet. I've heard that. I, my aunt used to. Say my, my grandma used to call it the toilet. The toilet. I think I'm just gonna start doing that to throw people off. Like, what the fuck are you talking? About? It's like hit a certain age, and then all of a sudden you start like it's the like, Google, like that. the Google. It feels yeah, like on the YouTube. It feels like a crotchety Google. old person. Like, I'm gonna use the worst to sister sauce, then I'm gonna go shit in the toilet afterwards. <laughs> And I gotta, go. I got, I got to break up the poop with the poop spoon, and then I'm gonna wash my hands afterwards in the sink. See, I think you know, Blake said, "What well, you're 30," and mm-hmm. we're like, we're all 40, so you know, it's a very like, I, there's a big difference from like your 30 to your 40. 30, you're like, oh, this is like a new thing. This is like, you hit 40, you're just done. You don't give a shit. You're just like, fuck it. Who fucking cares? Yeah. You just, yeah, you, 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 like nobody is the boss of you. You're just like. I don't care if people make See, fun of me. In fact, I reach out to make people make fun of me because true. that makes me feel good because I know that I don't give a shit. See, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 so, so this man here next to me is 30. And, like, I remember when I was 30, I felt like I had shit to prove. You know, like, through my whole 20s, everybody just gave me crap, and I had shit to prove. And I'm like, fuck you, man. I've got to, I've got to fucking prove myself. And now here I am, you know, 43, and I'm like... 44, however the fuck old I am. How old are you, Ron? Uh, 43. You're 43? Are you sure? Yeah, because last year's 42, this year's 43, it's not there as cool. But I was, you know, at this point in my life, I'm like, everybody's already realized that I've proved myself. They pretty much shut the fuck up and stopped giving me flack for it. This man here is in that stage of his life where everybody's giving him shit and calling him, man, you're a little bitch. You're going to. might f- not be. They, know, they're maybe like, he was like, they're like better. They're like, you're a little bitch. Like, you're no, going to no, fail. I'm and he's gonna like, no, I'm going to fucking kick ass. Ron, in 10 years, you're going to be an old 50 year old broken down man. And I'm going to be in my 40s. I'm going to be a rich fucking famous like YouTuber podcaster. But like, man, that Ron guy, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> no, this has been fun. It's been fun. See, he yeah. likes. I, I like it, the fact that he likes it. But no, see, like that was that's gonna be my other thing about being forty. You know, because I'm at this point where I'm kind of like it's it's the let's let's who fucking cares? Let's see what happens type thing. Yeah. But I'm fuck also, around and find I, out. I'm also, literally, like you know, it's kind of like oh, you know, but what happens if you do this? What happens if you do that? And I'm like, you know what? If I lost my job, like, given the fact that, like, I have kids, I have to support them. But if they, you know, the, the point in which they're, like, when they, they get jobs, move out, and can support themselves, I would be like, you know what, if I lost a roof over my head, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd just be like, that's cool. I'll just walk to some place that I think that's really great, and I'll see if, you know, something's cooler there. Like, I would not stress a single fucking thing. I'd be like, oh, well, my credit score is negative 20, and I have nothing to my name. Let's just go over here and see what's. I would be living in the moment. I'd be like, like you meth. Know what? I'm right here. Meth, Missy. And this just went away. But I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Huh? Beth, Missy. What's that? Meth. I, I would not. Crack meth. Crack Missy. Missy. That's you know that would be the. That'll be your new. That'll be your new. Craft meth. They'd be like, oh, I'm smoking this, but it doesn't taste like meth. Is that what? your only fan? Crack meth, yeah, Missy. That that's it would be. It would be like. Actually, the other it was a few weeks ago. She, think, she'd start reviewing, you know, like craft heroin, the, cr- uh, uh, crack houses. I would start reviewing crack houses. That's a Missy the Crack House Explorer. That's, that's, I would be She'd doing. be like, okay, so, so the crack house on the quarter of Fifth and Main in Dayton, that crack house, they, they were all terrible people, but that crack was great. It fucked me up so it good. It smelled like vanilla and it had chocolate notes. That's right. I'm the, I don't know what they did, but goddamn it's going to keep me going back. I, I, I haven't... I haven't slept in two weeks because of this stuff, but man! There you go. Like, yeah, no, I, as I was going to say, though, like a few weeks ago, there was a, um, she was talking about a podcast, what was it called? My Dad Wrote a Porno? Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, what would you be, what would your erotica novel writer pen name be? 
And then it just, it was, I, I said, well, the first name would be Foxy because that's like part of my nickname in high school. I said, I don't know what the last name would be. And then Ron started talking about something. He said, what's her tits? And I was like, that would be my name. Foxy What's Her Tits. So if I did an OnlyFans, it would be Foxy What's Her Tits. So just keep searching that until, <laughs> until you find it. You'd be like, she did an OnlyFans. What the fuck? But no, yeah. So, so Blake, what would your erotic pin name and or OnlyFans be? Ooh, there you go. He didn't think about that one. Mm-hmm. He didn't expect he that did. question. Uh, uh, especially not I, I think I'd just be naked drinking a beer. Naked drinking a beer. There you go. There you at, go. O- at OnlyFans. That's how you're going to get Naked Blake it. Naked Yes. <laughs> I naked like Blake. Naked Blake and drinking a beer. It's I just like going to be him sitting on the couch naked drinking a beer going, yep, you want this, right? <laughs> like a, like Ron White was eating on the couch eating Cheetos. Like, there you go. Right, like just fucking like, like orange spangle prints yeah. all over you. Like just a bunch of orange right here and then a beer in your hand. I, I mean, I, I would be a fan. I would tell you like, shoom, yeah. If there was a share, go, shoom, yeah. I don't, I don't know if there's a share button on OnlyFans, but if there was, my God, it's... <laughs> That's what I would do. That would just that would just be it. <laughs> Ron's jealous. <laughs> what would yours be, Ron? <laughs> there you go. From from the minute he's like you know here, just kind of kind of bashful and just like you know well reserved, that Ron's being all like trying to make it awkward for Blake, and now it's the tables a turn. Blake's like, he's on it, and then Ron's like, damn, it yeah. sucks to be me. Ron, I think of a, your daughter might be watching, so. It, he doesn't care. His, Ron, his my daughter right. watching? That's what it would be. It would That'd be, be hilarious. I think Ron's only fan would be uh, Ron's prison pocket. That's what they wanted to be. So what would you? What would you have your OnlyFans Dude, be? Will you change our chat name to that? <laughs> oh fucking art! I keep forgetting that you changed it on a Ron's prison pocket. What the fuck is well, that? Well, first I saw it and I was like, "What the hell is this?" And I was like, "Which?" I had to figure out if it was like the podcast one or if it was the one with Francis in it. <laughs> That's good stuff. Your ghost could join me in with you. Yeah, there you go. The hairy nerd the ghost, at OnlyFans. The, the, ghost, the, hairy, the hairy nerd. All right, that's cool. So we got... Ron's prison pop. So, so you said you're... Uh, oh, no, but your OnlyFans is... Uh, Ariana needs a roof. Ariana needs a new roof. Foxy wants her tits. Hairy nerd. And, and Blaked Naked. Naked Blaked. Right? Naked Blaked. Yes. But I just yes. used my pen, my erotic pen name, though. Misty Machine. Misty Machine. Misty Machine. Misty Machine. I like Ariana. That's that's I'm just like that's like that's solid. Straightforward. Yeah. That's like no bitch, I'm not a roof. <laughs> Fuck this shit. All that no is be, a roof. No being around the bush. Money. Give me money. My my roof's been leaking. I've been having issues with it. I don't I'm care about your feelings. <laughs> Give me your money. <laughs> you want to masturbate to me or not? I don't care. I just want your money. Cake. There you go. Exactly. Just send me the money. <laughs> right. Exactly. And there she'd be know. like, I made this cake myself, and then push your feet in it. So what have we learned today, guys? I love having guests. It's good times. I, I, I probably learned a lot, but I'm going to have that be my takeaway. It, having a guest is a good time. I, I mean, I want to invite Blake back. I learned so. that more beer equals more drunk. It does. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, I like, this is something I've always liked, but it's, this is something that it's like, I've not done in a while, but I like bringing people out of their shell. Like it works. That's that's uh. That was kind of our thing. We like, did. We did forever. Out, like really shy and quiet, and like Missy was more I than was. Me. Yeah. And, and and I just I, I would fuck with people in a way like I remember uh, I just remember fucking with people, and then they would just be like loud after that, and they'd be like, oh hey, and I'm like yeah, I fucking helped with that. You know. Yeah. So Blake, what have you learned today? Lean into the mic so we can all hear you. Uh, well, I learned I have an OnlyFan name now. <laughs> yeah. Naked Blake and Blake Cheetos. No, but what I've learned is just uh, how awesome you, you all are. Oh, yeah. I really yeah. enjoyed being here, and I'll, I'll be back anytime you need me back here. Yeah, Excellent. I, I, I like it. And I learned, like, I, cause I always wanted to have guests, and I thought it'd be cool to have, like, guests on a regular basis. But I, I also thought, I'm like, oh, I'd be disorganized, and I just don't think it would be as enjoyable. You'd have to add something else in. And I learned that it was actually a very easy transition for us, so I feel like we could have anybody on here to be a, um, a guest and just do it however it goes. And then on top of that, like, you know, to have someone who is actually in the craft beer industry as well, 
that I feel like that would be great to like on a regular basis because it's like it builds community and I have I've, I've learned a lot about that like not even figure we can steal some of your people you can steal some of our people right? and we can it's, grow together I, yes. I you know because I was um, well Zach from the 513 craft uh, beer group speaking of which hi Zach, I, I hi, was, Zach. you were talking about uh Dude, today when you had your call, because you're all like, "Hi, I'm your boyfriend. You're on the way to work. I'm going to talk all about the podcast because I want to talk to you like it was there." And then you rambled, and every time you were like, you talked about Blake, I'm like, "I've got to bite my tongue because I don't want to tell you this motherfucker's going to be on here because that's going to spoil it for you." Right? Because yes. I, 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 I almost told him today, and I'm like, "We'll leave that as a surprise." Well, you posted it. Ah, uh, yeah, I did post it because I was going to say I. I was almost going to leave that as a complete surprise. I, when I was talking to him today, I didn't mention it. But I, um, when I was talking to him, because he said he, he did like a small, um, I'm actually going to look it up on my phone so I can give that a, um, like a kind of, I guess, a little shout out. But he said he did, he was on, he did a phone conversation with, um, uh, shit, what was it? So it was another um, podcast. They it's craft beer parenting is what it's called. They're Cincinnati based. Yes. And he said he was on there. They recorded. Uh, he, so he did, he was he was on the, via phone, and it should be up this Thursday. But I've never heard of that podcast, and I'm like, all right, cool. So I would like to get to know that podcast. Like I I want to um, kind of network locally because that's something I've never done. But I like the local factor because I've. I've done like a little bit of networking here and there online, just as a like a, a general basis. But when you get to people, because I've done with the network marketing, and the thing that I've hated most about that is that everybody's so fake. They just they comment and react just so they can get that back in their algorithm, and it's so fake, and I absolutely hate it. Whereas like you know with with the craft beer community, I feel that yet I have yet to find um, fake. Uh, networking and f- fake connections yeah. and your actually building in true friendships and like real connections and I like because that. beer is because good and you get drunk really yes genuine. I, 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 that stuff. That is I'm amazing. gonna again say it because you're drunk and everybody's like ha I'm a social network with you hi like I'm drunk but, but 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 no, no. like I, I like the, the genuineness of everything so like that's like another thing so like um, like I, the gnarly gnome is one that I've heard of that I, I you know listen to very minimally, but I you know to get that local network and to uh, meet up and just just chill or like you know do a little small recording even yeah. if it's like a little. Um, like I've a, always wanted to meet him. Yeah, like a, like a small um, video versus a full on podcast because you meet them like enough times, which they're local. You can just you hang can out. Actually, do. Um, podcasts well it also do you, like collaborations basically on a podcast I, I also show. feel you know in that same breath if they're local and it's not just hey blake we're going to do a podcast episode would you like to be our guest okay you are a person on podcast that is it goodbye i never talked to you either being local it's like yo dude uh you'll meet up again let's go up to want to go up to the brewery and grab beer and bullshit all right let's go do that that right. sort of a thing you know i like that i like the and what i like about us is that even, I love the 513 group, but I feel also disconnected because how far north we are compared to they are. Right, and that's what I like. That, and and that's like, yeah. Because even so when we were at Because I feel like Dayton gets missed on how much good's down there. Because Cincinnati's so big. Yeah. And I, I agree with you on that. And I, like, I'm bad at cutting you off, so if I cut you off, I apologize. You're fine. But um, that that was like when we met you at Braxton, and you like I, like you well you and your dad were like oh yeah I've heard of like Lewisburg you know Greenville area whatever and you're like we're actually from uh, like Pickle Troy, Troy. Uh, I was like hell yeah we got like you know representation in our community I I was like really jazzed about that even though like I'm like it may not seem like that but I'm actually kind of like very um, sometimes at times antisocial but getting in the craft beer like that's like kind of my thing like. You know, so I'm really excited to meet people within that community to where they're so local that I can meet up with them again, like on the fly and not have to plan like weeks out because we're so like, just like, like know, Zach and spread the, apart. like Zach and that beer thing he's got to talk about in a few weeks. And it's like, we've been planning that shit's like months planned out because, you know, it's in Cincinnati, got to take a day off work, got to travel an hour right. and a half and all this other bullshit versus Hey, dude, you're next door. Let's go. You know. Right, I like that. That's, that's a cool deal. We probably we should like try, I don't know like because this area is so dispersed on its own. But I would really like to meet up with like you know just find more people that maybe are doing podcasts or 
Hey, you people. Who, or something like that. That'd be like way cool. Hey, people listening who, who aren't even doing any of that stuff. Would you like to meet up with any of us at any time? Send us a message to our Facebook page or something. And like we will definitely. Get, um, Blake the Brewery the Explorer. Yeah, get we one. We all want to meet up with yes. people. Who yes, are... get up with Blake the Brewery Explorer yeah. or get up with us. And we'll all be more than happy to meet you for a sip somewhere. Right. And have a good bullshit. Even if you don't just want to get on one of our podcasts, you just want to bullshit and talk. We love p- our fans. We love people that aren't our fans. We love people that hate us. They're the best because they give us the <laughs> best feedback. That's right. Yes. And those awkward people that like to uh, troll us with like uh, sexual bullshit. I don't, I don't remember that guy, but oh, Spencer Woody. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the, the guy that kept yeah. the day. Yeah. Yeah. He he was sending us butthole yeah. pictures and like all sorts of awesome things. Just you wait. You're gonna get all those people now that we yeah, got your only fence up there. Of her name, right? I, I feel like like the brewery explorer wouldn't get the sexual trolling that um, the strobing. You know what? Does. You know what? We say that, but now that we've put his only fans name out there, there you go. Naked Blaked. Naked Blaked. I like it. <laughs> he, he, he's just going to get all sorts of this stuff. Unfortunately for him, it's not going to be hot chicks. It's all going to be dudes like, hey, what's up? You want to go get naked, man? I'm, I'm going to create a group chat for the four of us, and that's what I'm going to name it. <laughs> true story. I'm going to get that like right as soon as we end the podcast. Naked Blake? Yeah, absolutely. And that's right. our group chat. All right. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> all right, kids. So, uh, we did are we all... Did we rate everything properly? I think we did. Did we explain everything? I think so. Yes, we did. Probably more than we need to. Okay. Probably. Well, we're we're well, definitely running. We I think we're running a bit long, but we're having fun this oh, time. Man. Yes. Four beer episode. Yeah. It's, it's Four beer. Beers. Shit. This is more like, what, seven, seven beers? beers? Seven to beers. To be honest, well, yeah. Yeah, but And plus, uh, half of them were over 10, so you got to times it a little bit. There you go. I mean, we only ran like 15 minutes over. But uh, we are. Okay. Uh, Miss Behavior is on all of your favorite podcast services YouTube, Facebook, uh, TikTok, Instagram, I don't fucking know anymore. We're on a good bit of things. And Blake, and, uh, where are all the places that you are? Whore yourself, Blake. Lay yourself out there like the beautiful whore that you are. Uh, Go. My main things are like my uh, blog itself is on um, t- TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. What's your blog called, sir? Blake the Brick Explorer. And where can we find that? Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Okay. And then my podcast, oh, the Blake the Explorer and Blake Mur- blah, Blake the Brewery Blake the Brewery Explorer. Blake the Brewery Explorer. Blah, blah, blah. Blake the Brewery Explorer, Blake the Brewery Explorer podcast is also on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and Google. If you don't get that, just get on YouTube and look at his hat. There you go. Yes. Look at his hat. He's got an awesome shirt because shirt despite us having 13 episodes in, and him having one in. This motherfucker's got shirts. He's got merch. I've been talking about shirts for almost two years. I know. It's like we've been the the, the, This motherfucker over next to me has already got fucking merch and shit. I, I, I think, honestly, if like we were to say that any of us had ADHD, it would be three of us against Blake probably not having it. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> I, I feel I feel like that we uh, have those qualities. Blake does not. So, you know, I hope to have you on again, Blake. Best uh, of luck. Thanks for coming. Your, Thank uh, you. Your, I'll be on anytime you want me on. Absolutely now. love it. And we'll collab anytime. Absolutely, sir. And next time we go out to uh, have a sip somewhere local, you and I definitely need to record something for yours. Right. There you go. Absolutely. Yes. So like, subscribe, share, send comments, send nude pictures. Send it to any of us, Blake or Miss Behavior. There you go. Blake, you're not going to get dick pics. Thanks. Yes. Later. Later. Miss Behavior. Do it. Miss Behavior. No, no. <laughs> <laughs>